Hey Fortnite fam, somebody's gun here. Week 1 of FNCS Major 2 kicked off with some spectacular plays. Let's take a look at a few of the best ones and break them down so you can think like a pro. At the end of Zone 9 in this game, Asa and Slove make a play for height. The duo cranks up and takes the position with relative ease. Once established, Asa begins to ramp. They go way up, knowing that the kinetic blade can prevent any fall damage. Entering Zone 12, Slove hands over the Slurp Juices and Chug Splashes. Asa is perfectly positioned for an end-game heal-off. Slove then heads down to disrupt the rest of the lobby as his job here is to force players to use heals and mats. He even goes as far as dropping a Men Miss back in Zone so enemies can't use it if he goes down. His pressure prevents several players from healing up and sets up Asa for a maximum placement. In Game 6, Vino falls in 7th Zone. That leaves Queezy with a massive task in front of him. Queezy knows that he will get jumped on if a duo spots him alone. During 8th zone, Queezy just chills, and that's pretty much the strat. Through the endgame, Queezy shows off his masterful knowledge of the meta and the zones as he opens his box to the storm side to prevent taking damage. He repeats this until zone 12 when he runs out of material. The game time augment is popped, and now, it is time to maximize each and every second remaining in this game. He elims Flixie and secures the top five. It doesn't get better than that. Perfect execution to make the most out of a game that shouldn't have even happened. Acorn Gold didn't have a game where they placed outside of the top four. Acorn's calculated movements were a huge reason why. On the night zone rotate, Cole gets picked off and Acorn is left all by himself. As the zone transitions, Acorn drops and bops a player into his box. This gives him the mats he needs, but nothing to help his health. He can't risk taking damage, so every movement must be protected with builds. Acorn makes it to the last zone. He sees a knocked player in a box next to him and gets aggro. A shotgun blast straight to the dome gives Acorn a big refresh. He falls after his own closes, but not before pulling off this remarkable solo clutch. With all the chaos in week one, there's one thing I know for sure. We can count on these players to bring the heat. We are undoubtedly in for a show next week, and let's hope we see even more unbelievable plays. Make sure to tune in from April 22nd to catch 